and a few days to August 12 International Youth Day. Youth Sustainability Development Conference is set to hold a webinar conference on the 6th and 7th of August this year. To talk more on it is its co-founder of Youth Sustainability Development Conference, Damilola Balogun, joining us online. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, sir. Tell us quickly about this year's conference and are the youths up to this year with the current reality of COVID-19? All right, sir. Thank you very much. So the very first um, edition was in 2019, which was actually um, a physical conference. So basically what we do is to educate youth about sustainable development as a result of us participating in several international and national conferences that focuses on youth involvement in sustainable development. So this year's conference, we plan to actually do it physical because we already, we've already we been planning for this for over 10 months now. But with the current reality of the pandemic, we had to do a virtual conference and we are um, able to gather 209 applications from 20 countries. So what we want to do this year's conference is through um, a platform, the, the Zoom platform where we educate youth about sustainable development and then we get them to work and think further in line of proposing solutions to pressing sustainable development issues. So as a result of which we would forward to necessary private sectors and private sector and then public sector who are interested in um, implementing some of these ideas. So that's just it. Yeah, I mean, it also it is uh, it's about 20 years since the millennium started. And yes, it is no longer MDGs again. We're now talking about SDGs. And just like Nigeria was short in fulfilling many of these MDGs, are there any prospects on the SDGs, uh, SDGs uh, fulfillment? And if possible, can you list some of these goals and where uh, we are currently? Okay, yeah, thank you very much for that question, sir. So the MDGs, as opposed to the SDGs, had fewer goals. Um, for the MDGs, we had about eight to nine goals, but for the SDGs, we had, um, the, the, it's, it's also a known fact that the current administration specifically has an office to this um, particular um, um, to this particular issue, and that is the um, Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals. So this office is actually supposed to act in line in implementing and then pushing forward the Sustainable Development Goals. So that's first, more goals. Now we have an office focusing on that. And then um, with, with one major development about the SDG as opposed to the MDGs is that a lot of youths are now actively involved in the SDGs and that's why the SDG is gaining more um, uh, more momentum than the MDGs. I would like to say that. So according also according to um, the voluntary national review reports, which Nigeria recently reported in July 13th to be precise 2020, it talks about um, setting goals which Nigeria has made progress with. And then a few of them are good health and well-being, which is the sustainable development goal three. And we're made to known in that report that Nigeria has moved up from 157 to 132 when it comes to um, under five mortality rates. And then by 64%, Nigeria has increased to having access to basic drinking water. And um, quality education, um, the, it's a, the current reality we have now is that 1.6 of Nigeria GDP is fixed at um, pushing for quality education, which is no way enough. But then we actually call on the government and um, stakeholders to actually ensure that this is increased and actually made better. And so with all of this, all of this, and then youths yeah. actively taking um, their roles in pushing for these goals, like me and my team do, I believe that, yeah, the, um, the SDGs actually have greater prospect than the MDGs. Yeah, I was just also going to mention, because now you brought in the youths, what role are the youth, you know, expected to play? Okay, okay, sir. So the youths actually expect to play a huge role, starting, for example, with the United Nations. There's a current office, which is the U United Nations Youth Envoy, which is actually supposed to serve the youths all across the world. So if you if you are or youths, and then you are actually making impact with respect to sustainable development, then you, that office serves your interest. You, you can partner with them, you can ask as well. They can as well host you and then do necessary things to just ensure that youths act 
actively participate in sustainable development. And it's also a fact that the majority of the population we have this year are more than. It's, 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 it's actually very important that because by 2030, these goals are expected to be achieved. And by 2030, a lot of youth this current, current, these days would have gone um, really far. And then it's, it's really important that they are well um, told us to how they are supposed to undo the future. So I guess youths are really doing fine. And I, I, I mean, I, I, I've had the opportunity to work with youths across the world by virtue of me being the co-founder of the Youth Sustainability Development Conference. And I can tell for a reason that the SDGs and the youths are actually in, in, they are going together. All right. And of course, uh, the webinar is expected to start today. What strategy do you have to involve youths across the world through this conference? Okay, so, so what we do basically, we do we do this through the design thinking model. So prior to this time, we've been making preparation for about 10 months now. So we get to write on topics, we get to write on pressing issues and sustainable development. So what we do at conference really is to make them understand why these goals are important and their roles as youth to actually help achieve a lot of these goals. At that side, then the moving next is the... Um, observation stage where they get to like see case studies of um, where these issues are caught. and then the next stage is ideation and synthesis where they get to think about how they can actually find solutions to these pressing issues and at the end of the day the final and the closing ceremony because it is for two days the closing ceremony you get experts who uh, who have been outstanding in the field of sustainable development, test these um, solutions based on what they've understood and what they've learned during the conference. And they would be able to advise them on what they need to improve on, what they need to improve on. And having done that, we have a report ready, more like a policy ready to be forwarded to the necessary government body for proper implementation and um, ensure that basically youths are actually acting um, to push for sustainable development, which is very, very important. All right. I, I, I want you to quickly just respond to this, you know, before we go. How can more um, young people join this movement? Um, so currently, we are planning the youth. So this, we are planning the Youth Sustainability Development Conference 2021 Pan African Edition, which is drawing up youths across the world. And we have. Um, we are currently working with youths in Australia. We are currently. We are currently have. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goal Young Leader Mandel Kanga. We also have, we also have Caroline Rakos, who is an Harvard graduate based in the United States. So we're trying to make wider impacts and ensuring that a lot of youths are part of this. And in forgeance to that, we currently have an application up for uh, sort of like a volunteer position, which is the director and deputy director position for the conference next year. So what they do really is just to work on case study, make thorough research. So all of these things will boil down to what they will educate youths in the conference by 2021 and make sure, making sure that not only that they are being educated, but the ideas that come out of the conference are properly sponsored by um, companies in order for them to be implemented. Because I mean, it's, it's not just enough to educate people. It's very important that they're empowered and then um, these ideas come into reality. And that's what we're trying to push up by 2021. So if you want to join this movement, you can just check us online www.ysdc.org.ng you see the 2021 conference you can click on that and then you can apply for the position of director for next year's conference because the positions for this year's conference have been closed and the conference is set to hold today All right. and tomorrow thank you very much uh, Damilola Balogo for sharing with us and all the best with uh, the webinar thank you very much sir